reservations, about 60 reservations east of here. Okay. <laughs> what I can gather, I have no idea, actually, LA's, northern Minnesota. But um, I am very honored. I was out here a few weeks ago at, uh, at Lummi, and very grateful to be back here at L in this territory, Lummi territory. Wow. And thank you for having me again. I'm uh, very honored to be here. I, I heard this was going to be kind of a small, intimate gathering. <laughs> So I was like, I noticed that there's a lot more people than I thought, so I'm going to do my best uh, to uh, express what I want to to y'all. But um, I want to start by telling you a little story, and then I'm going to show you a really short video, which is up here. And I, I don't know, what I could try and move this a little bit more. Otherwise, I thought I had them close this so you can see it a little bit. But, um, and then I'm going to just talk more generally. But. Um, so as you, as you know, uh, I come from White Earth Reservation in northern Minnesota. I'm Anishinaabe and Bear Clan. And um, I had these dreams. Uh, I started having these dreams in the spring. I have horses. I have seven horses. Um, I have work horses. We farm with them. We work them in the maple sugar bush, and I have riding horses. And I have, I feel like Joy Harjo, I have some horses. I have many horses. <laughs> But I ride, um, and I'm not the most adept rider, but I've ridden my, my whole life. And um, so I was dreaming, I kept dreaming about these pipelines, the, the Keystone XL, these other pipelines, and I kept dreaming, I kept having this dream that we were riding our horses, and we we're riding our horses and, uh, against the current of the oil that they were proposing to bring in. Yeah. That's how I dreamed it. Mm. And so I uh, went and I, uh, you know, I thought about it a little bit. In the meantime, my children are laughing at me because I'm, I'm not a Craigslist addict, but I have Craigslist issues. <laughs> so I went out on Craigslist and I got a horse trailer with living quarters, three horse trailer with living quarters. My kids are like, you don't even have a truck that will pull that. I said, I will get a truck, it will come. <laughs> and then, uh, and I was like, I, I know I'm going to ride and I need a horse trailer with living quarters because I'm going to be out there in the brush, you know, and uh, so they laugh at me. And then, um, so then I went into, out to Lakota territory where I go quite frequently and I, I've been working with them in moccasins on the groan and their resistance to the KXL pipeline and just then their protection of their water. And I said, I said, you, uh, I said, I had this dream that we were riding our horses against the KXL, but I think you guys are the ones who ride, because you ride horses all the time. This is how the conversation went. I said, you ride horses, the Bigfoot Memorial ride, you ride horses for the Dakota 38, you ride horses all the time, you're a horse culture. I said, I, so I dreamed that we were riding, and they all nodded at me kind of in this knowing way, like, yes, Winona, that is right, we are people who ride horses. <laughs> and uh, I said, I, so I dreamed we rode against the current of this oil coming in. And they said, you know, we're going to take that to our ceremonies. You know, we're going to deliberate on that, what you said, you know. I said, and so I think, you know, we, and I said, I'll, you know, you guys, once you decide what you want to do, I'll figure out how to raise the money. I'll get some press and media, and I'll support you. You know, and so I wait a little while, and I'm kind of waiting, and I don't hear anything for a while. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking, and if any of you try to organize an event, you need a little bit of advance notice, right? <laughs> You know, so I'm like, any time now, you guys let me know. Any time, I'm thinking. So I kept calling, I go back out there, and they say, well, we, you know, had some ceremonies, and we think, yeah, we're thinking, yeah. So anyway, in the meantime, I'm back home, and, I, and we have a pipeline which crosses our territory already that was really a bad pipeline. It's called the Alberta Clipper. It's actually the single largest source of tar sands oil in the United States right now. Got 440,000 barrels per day going across northern Minnesota. Minnesota's like the super highway for tar sands oil right now. We're entirely tar sands oil, pretty much. And I, you know, this had already gone through and they're trying to expand it to 880,000 barrels per day. And then they want to put in, uh, so I kept dreaming and I said, you know what, it's kind of like, I guess you call it the burden of dreams. I said, maybe that dream wasn't for the Lakota, maybe I was supposed to take responsibility for my own dark dream. <laughs> maybe I was supposed to ride this pipeline. You understand what I'm saying? So I was like, okay. So I go talk to my community and they all, they all nod in that same way. And I said, because uh, we're not really horse riders, we're canoeing people. Right? But some of us ride horse, but we don't, you know, we have smaller canoes than you all have. Smaller canoes. But I said, uh, and they said, you know, I think that's a good idea, Winona. And so my community decided to ride our horses on a pipeline from Duluth, Minnesota to Red Lake Reservation. And then I, uh, my community decides to do this and support me, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm good on this, and we're going to ride about seven of us. 
And then uh, the Lakotas call me and say, well, we're gonna ride too. I said, well, that's great. Okay, we'll come out and ride with you then. And then this third pipeline is announced called uh, the Sandpiper, which is fracked oil from North Dakota, the Bakken. And so my community, I said, uh, so we're gonna ride that. So um, I'm gonna show you a seven minute video. It tells our story, so you know what I do at home. And um, it tells the story, it's called the Triple Crown of Pipeline Rides, because that's what I decided to call it. And uh, I got to name it, I don't know. Probably would have been a better name for someone, but uh, I'm gonna ask you to watch it, and then I'm gonna talk, um, but it kind of shares what we do in our community. And I might ask the lights to go down a little bit, because I'm worried about the size of the screen. And you can also find it on YouTube, um, but um, my friend is going to start it up here. And uh... There's a beauty in the breath of horses. Fall morning's breath seen in the air.